Hi everybody. Um, this is my VR glove video number two. Um, I've added a tilt sensor here. So I have two tilt sensors, one for the wrist and then one for the elbow. Uh, it's not obviously attached, it's just dangling here, but it does get the input. Um, so I can show you real quick what it's currently at. So it tilts a lot more realistically, a lot further than it did. Uh, if you couldn't, as you can see, it's a lot more smooth than it was as far as the rotation is concerned. Uh, it's not jumping quite so much all over the place. Uh, all I'm doing is adding a lerp with the delta time times five from its last position to its current position or its current target position. So that smooths everything out quite a lot. Um, fingers still work, and if you look in the bottom, you can see the rotation is working. And I don't know how my guy just little flew off there. But, uh, so these last three numbers are the second tilt sensor. The first three numbers are the first tilt sensor, and the middle two are the fingers. Um, I had a few issues with the serial connection. Um, Unity would just crash because the serial port wouldn't open or it couldn't read the line. Uh, there were a lot of issues mainly because I was just doing a serial port with the COM port and the speed, just this part here. And uh, with the Arduino, you have to add parity of none, uh, the bytes to 8, and the stop bits to 1. That's the default, and the th that helped a lot, but it was still messing up every once in a while, still breaking, freezing. Uh, and then I did a little bit more research and found out that for the Arduino Leonardo's at least you have to enable the DTR uh, and that's effectively a handshaking system for uh, the USB port of the Leonardo I believe is how it works and I also added a read timeout uh, so even if it doesn't get data it'll still break and then it'll try five times and then it'll break out of the while loop and close the serial connection. Uh, so now it works swimmingly. Neat little guy. Um, and I'm starting to mess a little bit with it to just play around and I've added a velocity to its forward transform so we can actually fly around a little. And it's all based on the tilt. Uh, it doesn't really turn to the side so well, so I have to work with it a bit. But it's still neat to mess around with. So, that's pretty much it for right now. Hope you enjoy the video. Any comments, I'll read them. Bye.